Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. And I am immediately continuing with the My Team series episodes here from the last episode. Uh, we are heading into a season break, so let's just get this underway. And then afterwards, we will be heading into the Belgian Grand Prix. So, uh, in this episode, it's the Belgian Grand Prix. We are hoping to improve on our shambolic performance from the last episode where we finished P18 and had a lot of crashes and I think a lot of drivers wanted to be dead. Anyway, uh, we are going to try and improve on our previous uh, performance and do better at Spa. So, if you guys don't know, 65% of you are not subscribed to the channel. So, what are you doing? Hit that red subscribe button down below. It helps me out and it helps you out to stay connected with this community of F1 fans. So let's move on to the race weekend. I'm going to do the practice programs and then I'll see you guys for qualifying afterwards. Welcome to qualifying at Spa. Um, again, fast circuit as I introduced it. Let's see how fast we really are by setting a lamp in the early stages of qualifying. First lap of Q1. I had a little hiccup up your rouge, so I'm not expecting a good time here. We are slow. Uh, let's see if we can improve on this as we fix up your rouge. Ooh, not good at all. What is happening with my times here? Not good at all. Here we go. Seven tenths better. Let's see what that places us. P7. I think we should be good for Q2. Indeed, we are through to Q2 at P7 by the end of the session. Magnus and Matsushita, Latifi, De Vries, Giovinazzi, and Aiken fail to qualify into the next round. Let's move on. First lap of Q2. Let's see where we sit. P2 right behind Max Verstappen. Let's see if we can beat him here. A yeah, slight improvement on the previous lap. Let's see. Yes, we are in the lead now of the session. So we should be easily into Q3. Let's wait and see. So the results of the Q2 session. We are P3 behind Bottas and Hamilton. But knocked out are Stroll, Albon, Ocon, Gasly, Norris and Schumacher. So let's head on into the final stage of qualifying. First lap of Q3 on used soft compound tires sits us in P5. We are doing all right, could improve a little bit more. A little improvement. Don't think we did all too better. Uh, we're in P8. So let's go in. New softs. Nearly a second faster than our previous time. Let's see how far up the grid we find ourselves after qualifying. P4, it's not good enough, but we can improve on this on race day. It's a good it's a good position overall. So this is how it looks. Bottas in the lead. Hamilton rounds out the front row, and then we're in the second row with Max Verstappen in the Mercedes just ahead of us. So let's see how we can improve on this come race day. We're in Belgium once again for today's round of the Formula One World Championship. It's a race the great Ayrton Senna won six times and in 2019 Charles Leclerc became the first driver to take their maiden win here since Michael Schumacher in 1992. 
Spa-Francorchamps today, a circuit that spans 4.35 miles. There are tons of elevation changes along the way too. 19 corners making up this circuit, with 9 of those to the right and the remaining 10 to the left. This track is a great one for fans of pure speed. The average lap speed comes close to a whopping 145 miles an hour. Joining us today to oversee all the thrills and spills, it's Anthony Davidson. And great to see you. How are you feeling about the race today and how are the circuit conditions from what you've seen? Well, it's looking a bit cold out there, if I'm honest. These tyres have quite a narrow operating window in terms of the temperatures they need to extract the best grip. So with a cold track surface, it's going to be harder to keep those temperatures up, which will lead to lower grip and maybe more mistakes. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fin starts from pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, the captain, Daniel Kvyat and Sainz, Russell, Perez, Leclerc and Daniel Ricciardo, Schumacher, Norris, Pierre Gasly and Ocon, Albon, Stroll, Jack Aitken, and Antonio Giovinazzi, De Vries, Latifi, Matsushita and Kevin Magnussen fills the last spot on the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So here we go, getting ready for the Belgian Grand Prix. Let's take a look at our strategy here. Um, we'll come in a little later and then fit on the hards for the rest of the Grand Prix. Although, one thing I want to explore is the medium compound tire possibility. It seems as though this is totally not worth it. So we will revert the strategy and dip in a little later um, in lap 7 for the next compound of tire. We will drop our fuel load to approximately 21 laps-ish. Here we go, getting ready for the Belgian Grand Prix. Five red lights in Spa. Let's see how quickly we can get off the line. We get a decent run out of here. Hamilton up ahead. Max Verstappen to our right. Can we get a dive bomb on Bottas? Eee. A little rough there, but I think we got the move done. Collision with Bottas, I do apologize. Dive bombs are risky, and he kind of ran into me. All right, up your rouge, and it's done splendidly well. ERS engaged, and Lewis Hamilton right on my tail. It's a good start from us to be in the lead of the Grand Prix for now. Good series of turns there. Good, good take of the. Is that a chicane? I don't know. Good turn here as well. Let's push now a little bit as we enter Puwan. All right, we're through, we're through, we're through. We are through. Let's punch everything we have to get a little advantage to Lewis Hamilton. We need every little bit we can get. All right, ERS has run out. Nice exit out of there. And we extend the gap. Fastest lap, of course. First one over the line. Alright, Hamilton's behind us. Let up Yerouge again. Let's see if we can take it flat out. Sort of. Nearly lost the vehicle there. Nearly crashed, but Hamilton gets a better run out of there. Keep the pressure up. Squeeze him in a little. Give him a little squeeze. He kind of backs out as we enter the top of the hill. All right, managed it, controlled it, good. Great exit out of there. Let's punch it. We're getting a healthy gap to Hamilton now.
we had a little slip there from uh, getting on the curve, I believe. Ooh, Hamilton's right on my gearbox now. A little touch of the gravel track extension, apparently. Yep. Oh, Hamilton's on my right. Give him a little squeeze onto the grass. He nudges us back. Ooh. Taking a little hit there. Can we not squabble Hamilton, please? Because it's going to end bad for both of us. All right, we're back, we're back, we're back. DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. All right, we're getting ERS flowing through our engine now. Let's see what happens here. Ah, we'll take track extension on you, Roosh. Is available on the MFD. What strategy? Sure. We're going later, so on t in lap 9 instead of lap 7. Hamilton trying to overtake us here, but we will easily defend this position. Alright, another lap done. Lap 8 now. Next lap is the pit window. And that was wide, but we are still in the lead. Verstappen is quite competitive on his medium compound attire. Ooh, that was dangerous. That was scary. Lewis Hamilton makes it through. Staying competitive with Lewis Hamilton on our left. But he falls back. All right. We've got a lot of spare energy. Use your overtake button. All right, good concentration there. And we are through. Still leading Hamilton and Verstappen. Verstappen is 0 0.6 behind us on his medium tires. He is getting quite fast. I think our tires are slowly starting to die off. So let's see if Lewis gets the undercut or overcut. Let's see if he goes in now. Yep, Hamilton has just dipped in for his tire change. And now we are dipping in after this lap to go on mediums. We're gonna try and slow over stepping down a little, maybe. You Rouge taken nicely, for stepping still behind us. Let's punch it a little. I wonder if Verstappen's gonna go like an additional two laps or something. Might be the case. Oops. Green flag. Green flag. We're racing again. Max Verstappen hit us. Or I hit Max Verstappen, one of the two. But we are coming in for our pit stop. Alright, here we go. In for our pit stop. Whew. All right, in we go. Let's see what happens here. Uh, we're going on mediums, I believe. Yes, we are on medium compound attire. And we should see out the rest of the Grand Prix like this. We should be good. All right, off we go. 2.7 is a decent... Why is Hamilton on hards? And there he goes. Hamilton got a better service and he's ahead. Time to save some fuel now. 
Gotta see out the rest of the Grand Prix, so gotta take it easy. Driver in front. Lewis ahead, gap to car in front is 2.7 seconds. They're on fresh hearts. Their tires are three laps old. The time last lap was a 142.4. Alright, sounds good. We're gonna try and maintain our position. Give Lewis Hamilton the win. We need him to win the driver's championship, so I want him to win at least. And we'll see if that triggers a retirement. Alright, Max Verstappen is in the pits. That gives the Sioux Motorsport teammates here the lead. There we go. Oh, Verstappen on softs. He is going to be a bit quick, I'm assuming. How far away is he? He is falling back. Here we go, four more laps remaining. Let's keep pushing on Hamilton, but I think Hamilton has put, got this in the bag. Let's see. Abu Rouge. I am already using overtake you dingus. Ooh, Matsushita's out. All right, no safety car. Nope. Of course not, because we already used up like the whole season's worth of safety cars in that one episode in Austria. Alright, let's keep pushing here. Gotta keep pushing. I think we got P2 in the bag here. Lewis Hamilton, I think, is a little too rapid to catch, so I think we gotta concede the position. Oh, yellow flag up ahead. Someone's come off ahead of you. There's a yellow flag ahead. It's probably Matsushita. Green flag. There we go. Nearly lost it, but we managed to save it. I think we're comfortable here. Four seconds behind Hamilton, four seconds ahead of Perez. Unless I make a huge blunder, I should secure P2 in the Belgian Grand Prix. All right, I think we are at the finish line now. Oh my god, Lewis Hamilton sets another fastest lap. Oh, we are skidding. Oh well, we failed, but P2 it is. Another solid end to the Grand Prix. Good job, you did really well. Super driving. What a great race then, and what a magnificent victory here at the Belgian Grand Prix. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. Here we are, P1 and P2 for Sioux Motorsports. It's a solid end to the Belgian Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton ran away with it, so it was pretty as much a straightforward Grand Prix. Um, I don't know who came P3. We'll see at the end. It looks like a Ferrari or Charles Leclerc, maybe, or Sainz. Uh, I don't know, oh, Perez, but yeah, great end to the Grand Prix. 
Result of the Belgian Grand Prix is the following. Lewis Hamilton in P1, we are in P2, and Perez rounds out the rest of the podium. Verstappen, Russell, Ricardo, Norris, Sainz, Gasly, and Kvyat round out the rest of the points positions. Leclerc, Ocon, Albon, Schumacher, Stroll, De Vries, Latifi, Aiken, Magnussen, and Giovinazzi Bottas round out the rest of the finishing drivers with Nobuharu Matsushita not finishing the race today. Standings wise, we are still in the lead of the driver's standings. Hamilton is 11 points behind now, 109 points for him, and we have 120. It's a tight race at the top right now. And for the constructor standings, we are still miles away ahead in P1. Red Bull are 100 points behind us, so it seems like the constructor standing is ours uh, with three races remaining. Another stunning Grand Prix at the Belgian Spa circuit. Uh, it's I mean, we couldn't have asked for a better start, to be honest. We started a P3 or P4, uh, quickly overtook Max Verstappen, went for a dive bomb on Bottas, which could have been a little too aggressive, but it was um, the move we needed to make in order to really get ahead of everyone else. Uh, Lewis Hamilton was the only really challenging driver. Um, we were pretty much dominant throughout the rest of the whole uh, Grand Prix. Uh, I think Mercedes were struggling a little. Uh, I know I kind of had a collision with Verstappen uh, when he tried to come in on the inside and just took me by surprise and then I think he got taken out. And then Bottas did not finish the race at all. He had some kind of engine problem or something. Uh, you can still see that after the first couple of laps he was right behind us in third place. But um, I don't know after that, he just disappeared. Um, another valuable point scored. The gap is still very competitive between myself and Hamilton. Uh, we are still very much in the lead in the constructors. So I think that is ours for the taking. Uh, next Grand Prix, I think it's the Italian Grand Prix. I remember this time I looked at the schedule before I uh, did the Grand Prix. So uh, we are going to head into Monza for the final Grand or the third to last Grand Prix of the season. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, use the red button down below and hit the notification bell so you're notified when the next video goes live on my channel. Did you know that 65% of you are not subscribed to this channel? I said this earlier, but if you still haven't subscribed, if you still haven't hit that red button, please do. It'll be a great help for me and you would be part of this greater community on this channel. As always, I hope you guys are staying safe and until the next video of mine, please take care of yourselves and I'll see you then. Take care. me